couple of weeks ago we had the MA410M CPU tower cooler and today we have something with liquid. Now here we have the Muscle Liquid ML 240R RGB. Now this is uh, well something a bit different because it has addressable RGB lighting with controller already in this box. Now quick unboxing I'm going to show you what does it contain and then we're going to well we're going to see the lights and everything. Also with while building this I'm going to record and make a time-lapse video with some new components and with the ML240R just to well just for you guys to see how it is easy to place this uh, liquid cooling inside. Now we have the two fans, these are Master Fan 120AB and well that's all there is to it. They're a RGB, well addressable RGB and let's go to the next thing. Now you have the controller here. Now this controller here is a bit different than with the uh, MA410M and it's a bit bigger actually. We'll connect it and I'm going to show you how it uh, works. Also, well, we have to pull this out now. This is the radiator and the CPU block with also addressable RGB on it. And it has the ring and it looks really cool. But I mean, when I talk, it doesn't look cool, right? You have to see it to believe it. Here you have brackets, screws cables, splitters and well almost everything because on this side you have more for your controller for connecting your pump with the addressable RGB to connect your fans with the addressable RGB and well basically loads of cables but we'll, but we'll get through them and I'll show you everything how it works and how it looks. Now let's build it in and let's connect it right? Okay, so we connected everything to the MB410L case, the uh, Master Liquid ML 240R RGB is inside the case on the Z370 MSI Gaming Pro Carbon AC motherboard. Now we are running with the Intel Core i5 8600K. Now the thing is we are not going to do any testings with cooling and uh, that similar kind of stuff. Even though I can say the temperature on idle is uh, 28 degrees which is uh, really cool because on uh, my full custom loop it's 26, 27 so that isn't really bad but after all I have the uh, Intel Core i7-7820X X, and I think it has, eight, it has 8 cores and this one has 6 cores and 6 threads. Now the thing is we have the ARGB controller at the back of the case so let's go through the settings and see what it can actually do. Now on the front panel, the ARGB control box overview, we have the front side which has the LED mode adjustment button. The second button from the top to the bottom is the RGB and ARGB mode button. <coughs> the third one is LED color adjustment button and the fourth one is LED speed adjustment. Now going to the left side of 
the uh, controller we have the reserved slot we have the mirage effect so that is software required you have the third slot which is case uh, io panel reset port so basically you connect well let me show you when you connect the controller to the reset button you can press the reset and they change it colors and it changes colors completely so that's a really cool feature because then you don't have to go behind and press the controller uh, itself now the fourth slot the fourth jack is the motherboard reset port uh, connect using cable which is already included and the last one is fan rgb port now going to the right side you have four uh, ARGB ports which I said it is really cool because you could manage even more. So for instance if you have a case like this like I managed you have two fans that you get with the master liquid and well you want, uh, want to have a complete uh, addressable RGB case. Uh, you need I don't know maybe three more addressable fans. You can have it with the splitter, connect the splitter to the uh, controller and you have three more uh, possibilities to connect the fans. And that is really cool actually because uh, you have the possibility to extend and to make everything sync up. On the top side you have a SATA power uh, connector to, well, to power up the uh, controller and on the bottom side you have, starting from the left to right, you have the RGB 4 pin connection for compatible devices of course you have the micro USB that connects to your motherboard and you have the ARGB 3 pin connection for compatible devices so you could I don't know connect it to your motherboard for instance or your graphic card if it supports who knows but Connected to a motherboard because I know, uh, for instance, the uh, Z370 from MSI, which I mentioned, has the addressable RGB header, and the uh, Asus X299 also has the addressable RGB header. And that's all there is to it. This video about the Master Liquid ML240R RGB was basically based on the, well, addressable RGB. So you could see and how it actually looks. And I'm really impressed with the colors on the fans and the colors on the uh, CPU block. Now, of course, there is another cool thing about the Master Liquid is that it really does cool great i mean as i said on idol the uh, 8600 uh, 8, k is really nicely running even though it's an idol on 28 29 degrees celsius which is really nice to have under idle uh, this was it guys thank you for watching don't forget to uh, check the links below for the cooler master muscle liquid ml 240 r r g b and don't forget to click the sub and like button if you like the video of course see you next time guys bye bye